the people who are in the gym, 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 كيف صار بلاير كيف سبيتشا ماسليما او البروسبيتي على دان الكامبيونات ام فيري اوبيسلي تيرنس جود افترنون ام سبيكينج ان مولتيز سو ذات اي انتروديوس يو اند انتروديوس ذا بروجرام ام اي ابولوجايز ويت يو بيكوز وي هاد تو ام ريستارت ايفريثينغ اوفر هير اند وي مانجد سام هاو ان تايم سو ام ويثاوت اني فيردر ادو ام ليت اس ستارت ويت ام ويت 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 ذا بروجرام اوكي مالا فيرست اند فورموست ام ايد لايك تو ام انتروديوس ذا سبونسرز ويتش ار فيري امبورتنت فور ذا كلاب اند ذا سبونسرز ار ان ام جروب كام اون جروب اكسيس كوزي رومز Daikin, Eurosport, Kia Mounters, St. James Hospital, and Zarp Coaches, um, DM Nidelcom, um, uh, Gekin Tomikol Comzon, she served its men and down in years to on prioritage down in years in Liuma, Yatu, Ilp, Il, 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 Diki Shahaj, and Il Club Takom. So, um, very obviously, today's program will be um, mostly in English. I will just revert to Maltese when I'm talking with the supporters or when there are any questions from supporters that are coming towards you, Terence. So, first and foremost, how are you? I see that you are still in the dressing room, actually. <laughs> I'm doing, yeah, I'm still in the dressing room. We just finished training. Uh, yeah, I was ready for the interview stayed here. Mm-hmm. Very good. I'm seeing. I'm seeing you very relaxed. I must assume that you just had a very good, um, uh, very good um, massage. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good massage. Good massage. You came to the club. Uh, we, we uh, no, no, no. Everything. Every little helps. Every little helps. You know that. Uh, the, the, as I always say. So, um. Let us start by um, telling our people, the people who are watching us, who Terence is. Terence was is a forward, okay? Um, he was born on the 16th September 1996. He's 26 year old, years old. I'm sorry, Terence. I'm telling everyone how old you are, so I apologize for that. You know, <laughs> nationality. He's uh, from Aruba. He has played in Germany and the Netherlands um, in various various clubs actually and the Malta as well he has played for Aruba national team um even lately if I'm not mistaken yes Sorry? Let's, let's even see. lately you have played even lately you have played uh, with the national team of Aruba yes yeah four, four months ago four months ago uh-huh. no. exactly four yeah. months ago in June if I'm not mistaken you played in against St yeah, Martin yeah. and your goal um was decisive to win against St Martin yes Exactly, yeah, exactly. You see, I made my I made my research, so Google, you know. Yeah. Google, Google, Google. And one of them was particularly beautiful. I was reading, you know, that one of them yeah. was particularly beautiful. How was it? Can you tell us how was the, the, this beautiful go? Yeah, well, it was a good action from the side for my okay. uh, left winger. Uh-huh. And I just was on the right place. And at the right time in the, in the far corner. Oh, yeah yeah, good. yeah good very good and uh, next time i will try to see how the hell i'm gonna get this goal so that we will show it over here while doing this uh doing this, this uh, an interview you know so can you yeah. run us through how did you get to play football terence i mean you know i mean it's it's the dream of every other boy in this world you know to play football yeah. professionally well, I started playing football when I was very young, I think three years old. Mm-hmm. And, uh, my neighbor, uh, he played for Ajax. And, uh, okay. He was in the Ajax youth. I think he was 10 years old. Uh-huh. And uh, he had a little brother of my age. We were the same age, also three years old. So mm-hmm. he always brought us outside and we played football together. So, and we watched his games most, mm-hmm. most of the time. So when he was going for Ajax, when 
I went with his family and then uh, watched the game. And after I started playing football for some clubs in the neighborhood. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's how we started. And you started growing little by little. Um, at what time? I mean, I mean, um, at what age did you have your first uh, your first professional contract, um, Terence? First professional contract when I was uh, 18. 18, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. 18. So my first professional, 18, yeah. And then it's top cluster is like the third league in Holland. Okay. At the time, you could promote from amateur to professional level. That's how I'm not possible anymore. But uh, it was the first time I made my debut uh -huh. in the third league of Holland. Uh huh. Yeah, that's so at 18 years old. I, I moved there. And then you started. Um, moving a little bit around between Holland and Germany, you know, until you ended up in Malta uh, for your first stint with uh, Hibernians. Then you, then you left back again. You left uh, the island once again, and then you came back um, uh, to Malta. But how did it happen, uh, Slima? How did you happen to 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 be signed um, and 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 to be to to come to the club? Well. I played for Hibernians, obviously, the Champions League game, the, yeah. the start of the season. Uh, I played very well. Mm -hmm. those I played those games very well. Then Europa League uh, was decent. And mm -hmm. I, we went through one round, the Conference League, of course. And um, well, the coach who brought me to Hibernians, he moved mm -hmm. away. He had a very nice offer to go to Italy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. And a uh, new coach came. I brought some new players with him, new friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, I spoke with uh, with him, and he came from Slima. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, like, uh, it's a beautiful club. So I spoke with the coach of Slima after. And uh, the plan sounded perfect in my ears. And uh, it's a very big club with uh, a lot of glory and prices of course and like a lot of a big fan, fan base and I think what, one of the most uh, I don't know how to say it in English but with the most cups and, and titles in Malta yes 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 trophies so, in Malta so, actually yeah so, yeah yeah so it's an honor to play for this club of course and and bring them back to the first league that is what every player uh, came to do here and mm -hmm. I think that's a great plan and we are on the right track at the moment so I am more than sure uh, that we are I am more yeah. than sure that we are um so let's imagine this guy coming in you know coming the first time to the training sessions with Sliema was there something that impressed you particularly of the club when you were arriving there apart from the uh, fact that it's very difficult to park in Sliema. Let's forget <laughs> about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very, very difficult to park. Yeah. Almost impossible, eh? Almost one impossible. Hour. Yes, yes, I, I yes. Think, I, I think I'm searching number for a parking spot that we are training. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what impressed you? Yeah. But uh, I like the setup of the, of the dressing room. Mm -hmm. Very professional, uh, as you can see, yeah. Yeah. The kid man, even the kid manager. Yeah? Uh-huh. The kid manager yeah, is a good guy. <laughs> he's a very good, very good guy. Very good guy. Especially <laughs> all the, the clothes and everything. But it's, yeah, and um, the, everybody's very professional. A lot of coaches. Like, uh, I think we have four four coaches on the field every day. Mm -hmm. Multiple coach. Uh, assist to us in coaching. And uh, the head coach, of course. And we have a gym. Every, everything mm -hmm. is here. So very yeah, professional yeah. setup. So yeah, yeah. Everything is around you, and whatever yeah. you need, it's over there. You know, and that that helps a great yeah. deal, yeah, for a player. Yeah. And even when I'm hungry before after training, uh, I can walk down and, and eat something. Indeed, that's yeah. about it. You know, that's yeah. about it. So. Um, yeah, yeah. That's very interesting, the share that you have on it's of Lakers. We were talking about it before, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, um, uh, you follow basketball and how did, you know, how did you start, you know, following basketball, like just out of curiosity? Uh, well, my uh, grandparents live uh -huh. in uh, the USA, in the United uh -huh. States. 
So uh, yeah, that's how I start following basketball like, in a really young age. Now it's more difficult because uh, of the time difference, of course. But uh, of I like course, to of see the highlights of the game and uh, mm-hmm. see who won. Yeah, yeah. And from what I'm understanding, it's Lakers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Lakers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have, have you ever been to to watch a Lakers game in uh, in the Staples Stadium? Unfortunately, not. No, I've never been there. Again. It's one Welcome thing to do before team. you die, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One of the things I need to do before I die. For sure. Let's let's talk a little bit about um, last uh, last weekend's game versus uh, versus San Juan. I know that you did not start the game. I know, but you were there. You could assess what is happening. What, what is your take about the team? You know, especially when you understand that we were with ten people for a very good, yeah. let's say, I, I think we, eight, eight minutes. Huh? I think we started the game good, mm-hmm. and then a small, a small error, like a small mistake, can happen always in football. And then uh, we proceeded the one two behind, of course. Uh, we thought they were very happy, and um, then unfortunately, the, our captain got a red card. But mm-hmm. um, I think the whole team managed to to stay positive and uh, have the right attitude, play uh, how we are supposed to play, and create a lot of chances. And when we, when we create a lot of chances. You know, you was, we have the quality to score um, a few goals, yeah. and that's what we did. And I think uh, the quality of the whole uh, quality of the whole team is that uh, everybody is willing to give not 100% but 110% when they are on the pitch. And yeah, even that's very true. If you you got you get stopped off, you know that quality is mm-hmm. coming in. So yeah, yeah, so that, very. So you know you can give 200% and. If you get chopped off, that your teammate will give another 200%. And I of think course. That's of course. What, of course. What we see very clearly, and that's how we mm-hmm. take the points. So. Um, judging, judging from from uh, from where you were seated um, during this game, and now you've been with the club for some time. Don't you think that sometimes we leave, um, uh, we we let over here, I just saw Rashid doing a fantastic save, even though then they scored, but over there Rashid did a fantastic save, but whatever the case. Um, don't yeah. you think that sometimes we let the opponents too much in the game, Rashid, uh, uh, Terence? We need to start closing the game a little bit before, what do you think? I think... Yeah, we get a lot of chances. Sometimes we have to score faster, I think, mm-hmm. for sure. But, um, of course, because they play against Lima, you see that yeah. every team is playing yeah. on on the highest potential and with so much... Uh, yeah. We, uh, yeah, we play with the pressure every game. But I think, for me personally, I like to play with pressure every game. So, uh, I think the rest of the team as well. But I think... Um, of course, they get a lot of confidence, but uh, because they they sit back and most of the time, then we have to create the chances. Um, that sometimes we leave the ball for them, so we get more yeah. space for ourselves to to create more space behind the lines, so we can have the fast attacks. Because if they sit back on the 16, the whole game is very difficult to score. But, uh, Let us see that we what. We the goal. Uh-huh. That is not what we try, but. To draw them a bit, a bit, a bit to, uh, yes. to our side of the yeah. pitch, and then counter attack. Sometimes <laughs> this is uh, this is better for uh, for the game. Yeah. And we have the players to do that. Actually, let me yeah, see a little exactly. bit what uh, what uh, what uh, our supporters are saying. So, Freddy Tanti, he's watching us from Norwich, from England. You know, uh-huh. that's good. Yeah. yeah. We're international, man. International, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're international. Carl Greg um, sends his regards. He says, Maltese, literally, Kifah Nasihbi. I don't know if you know what Kifah Nasihbi is in Maltese, but that means, how are you? Yeah. Um, uh, probably he's telling us both, you know? So, yeah. um, <laughs> so I can assure you, Kyle, that uh, Terence, he's good. He looks very relaxed, you know? So, so, so he's all prepared for, for next game. So, 
Um, let us have a look as well at the sponsors. The sponsors are NM Group, Come On Group, yeah. XAs, Cozy Rooms, Daikin, Eurosport, Kia Motors, St. James Hospital, and very obviously, Zarb Coaches. Back to Terence. Terence, we're preparing for the game against Melita. How, yeah. when you see the team and uh, on the pitch, on the field, you know, what is the impression that it's giving, that you're having, you know, seeing the team training, you know, you being part of the team? Um, confidence, preparation, concentration, what? I see a bit of everything. Concentration, yeah. uh, joy, of course. We need joy. Uh, everybody started playing football because they, they like football. So I see a lot of joy as well. But when we are on the pitch, everything is full of focus. I think uh, the trainer is a big part of this as well because he's a very motivated guy and uh, pushing us always to the limit. So I think. We see, I see a good pre preparation for the match. We speak uh, everything in de detail, you know, uh, what do you expect from us and from the team. So I think we are preparing well for the game. So. Tell me the truth. Do they do terrible jokes in the dressing room? <laughs> uh -huh. sometimes, sometimes they make some jokes, but the most of the jokes are... If they say something, then... Uh, and uh, the Maltese, but uh, so some action. Yeah, for sure. So, um, Terence, first and foremost, I'd like to thank you for this little time that we had together for your time. Um, I know that it was a very long day for you guys, and 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 you had to stay over there so that we can so that we can do this interview. And for that, I thank yeah. you. Um, I will switch to Maltese now, so that I'll do the the, the yeah. last part, and then. And then I will, I will, okay. I will um, uh, disconnect. But just stay there a second, okay? Habib Slimizi, Yina in Fakarkom, Narel Hatli Jay, Sentinel Stadium for Tlieta, Contra Melita. Loba importanti, Loba contra Team Melit. Kellem Nadija, Fu U Matur El Jiban, Narel Lerba, Ma ma Paul Zamid, Team El Seyer Taya, Fil Verita, Jiviri, Mishkat Kul Loba, Fachli. Um, نشتي اللي نارا هفنا منكم اللي يتلاو الستاديوم يلا ما فضل اللي شين خلف اللي uh, نرن قرأتساكم داو كولا اللي كينو قدين يراو البروغرام مانا um, و نمرو بونتا من تالنا رحات اللي جاي في تليتا السنتيني ري بيش مورا نارا هو اللوبا كونترا المانيتا سادك التانت نسير منكم تيرنس good night thank you very much dude good night and good luck the conversation but then my uh, stomach starts speaking instead of me hey, yeah yeah i can understand that dude <laughs> good night okay good night ciao